this week a big surprise for you this crochet hooded coat jacket you see with this very nice hood this is a very sportly model we can say very easy and quick to do i will give you all the instructions step by step to do it in any size as usual but you can use also different yarn than mine because i will give you all the instruction in centimeters so that you can change the yarn and use the hook size you prefer and it will be so easy to create this winter jacket with this very nice hood so come on follow me let's start Okay, now I will explain you this project. This jacket is made of three pieces. One rectangle, one big rectangle for the back side. Then we have two half rectangles for the two front side. Okay, then we will join together by sewing these three uh, sections together and we will attach with a new yarn to create the two sleeves and finally we will attach a new yarn to create this hood so you will see that in short time you will have your winter hooded coat and really believe me it's very easy because the stitch pattern is very simple let's get started for this project i'm using this very nice yarn from ice yarns um, il filo di arianna maglia d'uncinetto shopping online the name is wool print chunky this is the composition i will work this yarn with a seven millimeters crochet hook the code number for this color is this one it's a very soft yarn i liked very very much i'm really satisfied for this project you can use the yarn you prefer uh, also a thinner yarn if you like anyway if you want to do a coat uh, a, a winter jacket i suggest you to use um, a thick yarn like mine for your jacket you need just three measures you have to measure your chest, then your hip, the biggest between these two, in my case the hip, will be the total circumference of your jacket. For example, in my case for the hip I have 102 centimeters, so the rectangle of the back side will be 51 centimeters large and the two front will be 25,5 centimeters each one we have two sides for the front and then I just have to decide how long will be my jacket in my, ca in my case I like my jacket will be 70 centimeters long Okay, the length of the jacket will be the measure of my foundation chain. foundation chain corresponds to the 
um, to the length of my uh, of my cardigan so I will do an odd number of chains uh, which will be in my case 70 centimeters long to do that I have to chain 65 when your foundation chain is completed now chain two to start and in the fourth chain from the hook one two three and a four place one double crochet now double crochet one in each one of the next stitches till you get to the end of this chain at the end of this row you get 65 double crochet at the end of this row place the last double crochet into the last chain ready for the second row this stitch pattern is very easy and will be the repetition of just two rows the first one that i show you right now and the second one that i'm going to show you now chain one and turn insert your hook into the very first stitch and single crochet one yarn over insert your your hook um, your hook into the same very first stitch and double crochet one now skip one stitch into the next one single crochet one again yarn over into the same stitch double crochet one skip one stitch into the next one repeat single crochet one double crochet one skip one stitch into the next one repeat single crochet one yarn over double crochet one skip one stitch repeat go ahead like that all across the row To finish this row, skip one stitch and single crochet one into the last one. Now you have to repeat double crochet. Chain two, which takes the place of the first double crochet, and turn your work. Yarn over into the second stitch, inserting your hook into the back loop of the stitch only and do one double crochet continue doing double crochet into the back loop till the end of this row at next row you will repeat the Suzette stitch then again double crochet into the back loop then suset stitch then again double crochet into the back loop till you get to the width you need for your jacket for the front side of your jacket we are working vertically this is this is the length of my jacket the more rows i do the wider my jacket will be
colors of my pieces for the two front I have a 28 centimeters width for each side and for the back side I have 50 I have 54 centimeters large just a moment I want to be sure for the back side I have yes no i have 51 centimeters large for uh, uh, the back side and long for back and front is uh, length is 71 centimeters in my case of course you can choose the measures you like and uh, for the medium, I have this uh, total circumference of 51 plus 28 plus 28. Uh, please add 3 or 4 centimeters more for each additional size, okay? When your three pieces are ready, back and front, of course you have to join the three pieces together. You have to sew here on the shoulders for about 21 centimeters in this way. Then you have to leave, of course, unjoined the two holes for the arms for the sleeves I will leave about 23 centimeters not joined add one half centimeters for each additional size and then you continue joining on the both sides of course when you have to join the pieces you are working on the wrong side Okay, the right side is inside. We are ready now to start the sleeve. Take your armhole from the bottom, insert your hook into the first stitch on the left, pick up the yarn, pull it through, chain two to start which takes the place of the first double crochet and now one double crochet in each one of the next stitches totally i will get uh, 39 double crochet consider one or two double crochet more for each additional size at the end of this round slip stitch to join into the chain number two you did at the beginning of this round first round of the sleeve is completed now you are ready for round number two at round number two we have two decrease three times one time at the beginning one time at, uh, at the center of the sleeve one time at the end i show you how one two three chains which takes the place of the first double crochet now into the next two stitches we're gonna do a double crochet decreasing Pick up the yarn, insert your hook into the double crochet below, halfway double 
crochet yarn over into the next stitch halfway double crochet three loops on your hook yarn over pull it through this is your double crochet decreasing we have to decrease for this round three times continue working normally when you are up 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 there here on the sleeve the second decreasing and before joining this round the third decreasing for this round I finished my second round with 36 double crochet then at round three repeat again 36 double crochet at round four decrease only one time so from 36 to 35 double crochet at round five decrease two times from 35 to 33 double crochet at round six repeat again 33 double crochet at round seven 31 double crochet so decrease two times and continue working 31 double crochet until round 11 from round 12 to round uh, 17 work 29 double crochet so decrease at round 12 two times from round 18 to round 22 work 27 double crochet for each round and finish with single crochet at round 23 After sewing all the sections of my cardigan, I'm ready now to create the hood. So here I have the neck opening, you see. I will start from the front side my hood, inserting my hook into the third row one row second row third row insert your hook into two yarns two loops of the third row pick up the yarn pull it through chain two which takes the place of the first double crochet into the same row second double crochet and now continue doing two double crochet for each row below all the way around the neck all around the neck and of course you will stop just two row before the end In the meantime you see I'm covering the excess the yarn excess and I'm working two double crochet corresponding to each row below Okay, you see I get to the other side, I will leave and work the last one and two rows as I did at the beginning of this row. I worked all across the neck opening, you see, and I'm creating my hood. Now for the second row, chain two and turn and work one double crochet in each one of the stitches below double crochet 
one in each stitch below like that ready for the third row of my hood chain 2 and turn I already turned my work to be faster to be quicker now continue doing the one double crochet in each one of the stitches below but now we have to uh, do some increasing and we have to increase after each four double crochet so the first one is done because the two chains take the place of the first double crochet into the next one second double crochet into the next one third double crochet into the next one fourth double crochet so one two three and four now it's time to increase into the next stitch i'm gonna do two double crochet into the same stitch that's my increase you have to repeat that after each four double crochet one two three four into the next one increase double crocheting two into the same stitch like that continue all across the row after my last increase for this row i have left just three stitches so one two and three double crochet to finish my row row number four continue doing one double crochet in each one of the stitches below you don't need to do any increase for this row for my hood i worked 14 rows from the fourth one i didn't increase anymore but i worked in the same number of stitches now i'm gonna do the 15 uh, row the last one i'm gonna start with chain two into the next stitch one double crochet into the next stitch one double crochet into the next two stitches now one double crochet decrease one and two finish together i will do this kind of double crochet decreasing after each regular double crochet one two three regular double crochet and now in the next two stitches one decreasing one two finish together i show you again slowly yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch halfway double crochet yarn over again insert your hook into the next one halfway double crochet three loops on your hook yarn over finish together do that after each three double crochet then at the end of this row you can cut the yarn and fasten it off your hood is completed we just have uh, to sew it on the top I will show you how to sew it
okay that's my completed hood so you see now from the wrong side you have to bend the top of your hood in this way you can fix it with some pins security pins or normal pins whatever you like just to fix your section and now we have to sew on the top of the hood to form the hood in this way you see so you have to start from here insert a needle like that sorry hmm? you can use the same yarn to sew it with your needle with a wool needle and then continue sewing the top of your hood in this way till you get to the end of this row and your hood is completed okay our coat is completed we just need to attach some buttons we don't need to do any button holes because we can use the row of double crochet um, using the space between one double crochet and the next one that's all if you like you can create this band this is a chain with three strands of the same yarn turn two times and so our project is completed if you like it please give me your like i will be very thankful come to visit my public page on facebook alex crochet waiting for you and subscribe to my channel uh, that's all for now so thank you for watching, bye bye. If you enjoyed this project, please give me your like, I will thank you so much.